guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ancestral Owl Messages for Full Moon and Taurus Read on this All Hallows Eve for the collective sign of Leo. Okay, well, let's shuffle the cards. Let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, and Spirit Guides, I ask for wisdom and clarity and for any messages that need to come through. For the collective sign of Leo on tonight's full moon in Taurus on All Hallows Eve. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, here we go. One more shuffle. All right, I am listening. I am listening. Huh. Well then, card one is coming out. I'll take the next card off the bottom because I saw that one. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Alrighty. Now, let's go over this. I know, this card jumped out. That's the reason I grabbed it. I was told to grab it. What do you need to release? Waning Moon. So we're going to put this here. Because tonight is a night of releasing a lot of things. Okay, first card down was second card down. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. Believe in the impossible, blue moon. That's center card again. You are good enough, full moon in Virgo. Time to give rather than take, new moon in Virgo. There is a cycle here. Cycle. And I think, I love it how it shows up like that, because you started out with the new moon, ended with new moon, two full moons, and a blue moon in the center. Tonight is blue moon, it's also micro moon, full moon in Taurus, which is that earthly energy, earth sign, Virgo's earth sign as well. Yeah. There's something that started with this past new moon. A new road you went down for the collective sign of Leo. This is a new decision that you made. Yeah, you made a new decision. By the time... I'm not even saying the new moon after the blue moon, but I would say the new moon after the next full moon. That's, there's a cycle that's ending here. There's something that you started releasing on that full moon or on that new moon, the previous new moon. You started releasing something then. Something that happened that changed. Now see, that's the thing too that many people don't realize. When your life changes, it doesn't, it's not the big thing that happens. It's the little thing before it where you made the decision to make it happen. Little decisions are the really what the crossroads are. But let's get into it a little bit more. I'm going to pull, pull, I still can't English, nine cards from the Crow Tarot by MJ Clooney. Shuffle it one more time. Okay, shuffle two more times. Okay. Yeah, one more time. Three of Pentacles. 
Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords. Four of Wands. Two of Swords. Empress. Four of Swords. Six of Wands. Four of Cups. Six of Wands. Six of Swords. Three of Wands. King of Wands. Or Queen of Wands. King of Wands. Temperance. Okay, here we go. I pulled a few more cards than what I intended to. Let's put these aside for a second. All right. See, okay, I'm going to explain this. This keeps coming up to me. And each, every time I do, like, reads and it comes up, Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, talk about cooperation, working with somebody else. Sometimes it appears to where it's like a third party involved in your crap. Like somebody's working with you, but they're not really working with you. They're working against you. And it's not the three that's together. One person or a collective could be working against you. Or this was internally. So Leo. What happened? There was three here. Because what happened afterwards is. Ten of Swords. See all the swords and crows back. Nine of swords. Ten of swords. I look at it. It's the end of the cycle. It's the end of the cycle. Of the. Yeah. It's the end of the cycle. But at the same time. You still have, the, have all of their swords in your back. Like somebody's talking about you. And somebody has done something. Against you. And that could be to that three of pentacles. Then, then there's Nine of Swords. I always look at this as a grief card. Like deep grieving. Because the, the Three of Swords is disappointment. It's a heartbreak. But Nine is three times bigger than that. This is that card. Something really... Yeah. They did something... Stabbed you in the back. This isn't even stabbing you in the back. This is stabbing you in the front. And there was deep mourning from that. But then, Four of Wands. Happy celebration. This is the four. That stability of home. So whoever meant evil for you, it was turned for good. And home stability. And you had to make that decision. Two of Swords. Which road are you going to take? And you took a road. The Empress. The Empress is an embodiment of all four queens. And that road that you took was embracing the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands within yourself. That's your fiery, passionate energy. Queen of Swords standing in your own power. Queen of Cups. Um, ability to love yourself and others no matter what has happened before. And Queen of Pentacles. Being able to nurture and take care of family, finances, yourself, spiritually, emotionally, and to give it out to others. Now, the three cards pulled off the bottom. Four of Swords. This is resting and retreating. Six of Wands. It's that celebration. Everyone applauding you. And that Four of Cups discontent emotional discontent you walked away from this somebody played you bad but you were able to walk away from it and you made that decision to change your road but you still that resting and retreating that's because you still there's healing from what had happened like a distrust maybe because the next three Ace of Wands. Aces to me are the yes cards. This is yes. This is new. This is 
this is new conversation and it's yes it's like major conversation who were you walking away from there six of swords and three of wands Uh, three again conversations because what shows up is king and queen your counterpart that shows up so walking away from this and that three of wands I don't like that three of wands there It was a healing conversation. It was a needed conversation. That's what you walked away from was this. Oh, you tried to talk to this person again. That's what happened here because you were, there was celebration there after healing for a little bit you went back and tried to talk to the person. But there was still this thing that was missing there. And you had to walk away from it because, yeah. If this is exterior forces with the threes that come up here, then, I mean, the person, though, from the past, I mean, they have to make a decision are you going to listen to these people? Are you going to let them in? Or are you going to close them off? You And if they're... Like, you made the decision. I don't think they were making that decision. So they're more worried about everything else going on. But it's led you here. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Exact mirror image. This is... This matching your energy. Sagittarius... And Aries. Both fire signs. Fire, energy, passionate. And here is, though, temperance card. That's because this is patience with endurance. You got to be patient with yourself. You got to be patient with other people, but you're still healing. Because I think there was this, I really believe, like you walked away from this. You were willing to make that decision. They weren't. So when you went back, like there was a follow-up conversation. And I really believe this Six of Wands, this celebration, I think it was other people going, no, 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 that's not what happened. Go ahead and call them back. No, no, no. Go ahead and call them back. That's not what happened. Like you confused it. You're confused. So you went back and everyone's wanting you to do this. And then there was this. Yeah, I don't think so. Because you were different. You were different because you stood up for yourself. You weren't going to take it. And so you had to walk away again. But walking away led you to that. Your counterpart. So just be patient. Let me pull a few angels and ancestors oracle cards by Kyle Gray. Get three off the top, three off the bottom. For the collective sign of Leo for this full moon in Taurus Reed on on All Hallows Eve. One more shuffle. Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. Drum, dream and journey. Air guardian, shift your perception. Moon, take note of intuitive messages. You're going to receive dreams tonight. Spring, see your seeds grow. Animal guardian, trust your instincts. Okay. Have patience. Like, have great deal of patience here with yourself oh, 
but just like Kine mentioned earlier, you're here. You still have another full moon cycle, and to the time you get to the next new moon after, a lot of this is going to be changed. Like you're you're at that midpoint, but by then there's going to be growth here and healing here. So. And it, even by spring, you're going to be a completely different person by spring. This all is going to be healed. And this counterpart here, you and your this new person, is really going to be closer. And yeah, that relationship is going to be stronger. Like, take note of intuitive messages tonight in your dreams. The veil is very thin tonight. Okay, for the collective sign of Leo on All Hallows Eve on Halloween for the full moon in Taurus. This is your read, Love and Light. <laughs> 